this is the first screen here that I'm brought to. Um, you'll notice it says just turn on the key, keyboard controller. I've done that. And uh, just going to go ahead and click OK and move forward. Uh, this is actually really nice, smooth an animation transitions here. Um, it's just walking me through how, how to use the controller here. And it's actually relatively straightforward. Probably don't even need this, but um, uh, let's go next. And so it says it takes about 20 minutes. Let's see how, how fast we can blaze through this. Okay, so now I'm pressing up on the arrow pad. We're, we're maximizing this screen to fit. You can see the blue. It's actually a really nice job. Um, so now I'm doing the... Whoop. Okay, so I actually don't like this. You have to press next for every, every um, side of this rectangle. That's one thing I don't like. Um, I wish I could just go and press the arrow pad on, on any given side at a given time, so I don't like that. Um, still trying to get used to this mouse pad, so it has a directional arrow, um, and you saw that earlier. Uh, the, the same one using, and I'm clicking, actually clicking on screen, I'm getting some good feedback, which is nice there. Um, but the mouse pad and the left mouse click button are separated. Um, on opposite sides of the keyboard. Um, so the screen's maximized here. Now we want to connect to the internet. I have an ethernet cable that's connected to it, so I'm just going to click next. <clears throat> Select restart and finish the update. Do not unplug the power cable. Okay. So restart and install apparently. Hopefully this doesn't take too long, but I'll go ahead and stop here and we'll continue in just a second. Okay, so it looks like uh, it's doing some sort of download or update. I'm not sure here. Um, but basically it's just saying Logitech review with Google TV. Um, looks like something's happening here. Uh, I got some, some relatively cryptic information, but now I see a loading bar. And you, if you recall earlier, when we unboxed the unit, there was actually pieces, uh, a little piece or something shifting around in there. So that, whatever that was, it actually did not impact the, um, the setup here. Seems like everything's good to go. Oh, got some magic happening. We're going to go ahead and turn up the volume here. So you can hear what's going on. Logitech Enjoy, that's actually really cool. And <clears throat> I think it's pretty obvious that this is some sort of startup. So I'm connecting to the network. Um, now it's checking for updates. Thought I was doing that before, but apparently not. <laughs> Okay, my system is up to date, so let's go ahead and go next. Okay, so now I need to sign in with my Google account here. This is nice, so I'm using a full QWERTY keyboard. Um, actually, we're going to go ahead and go ahead and stop here. I'll get back to you in just a second here. So we can enter in the information. Okay. Okay, now it's trying to log me in. It says welcome. Good. That's awesome. Next. One thing I'd like to see is at least the next buttons highlighted. That's more of an interaction design, um, but minor detail, but I think it's really important. What's that call to action here? 
automatically send usage to statistics to Google. Sure, I'll give up some of my privacy so to help these guys out. That's fine. Um, yeah, I'll read this actually later online, so that's fine. I'll accept that. And it's retrieving data. I'll enter in my zip code. Um, for some reason, it's. <laughs> here we go. There we go. Entered in the wrong digit. Okay. Um, I have a cable satellite or TV service with a set top box. Yep, that's what I got. Let's, let's go. Next, select next if you see your TV playing. So we see the picture, I'm going to select next. Um, select your lineup provider. Uh, this is actually, I'm surprised that I'm actually asked this. Uh, this actually really should be selected uh, based on the devices that I have or signal detection. Um, I'm not sure exactly what can happen here, but uh, I, I really think that I shouldn't be selecting Comcast here. This is a little bit extra. So this is the one that I have, the RNG 110. So it's applying changes. It looks like it's setting, it's configuring the setup here according to the type or the class of device that I have. Um, channel pet. Do you receive channels such as CNN? Looks like I do. Um, so I'll click yes here. No, I I don't know. Maybe I do. I haven't checked all these. This probably give you an idea of how much television I watch. Set up. Okay, search channels. We'll just. I don't. I'm not sure exactly what's going on here. Select customize your lineup using the list to the left. You can search by call sign, channel number, or name to find the premium channels you receive. Um. So it's just got some a pretty pretty in depth list. Okay. Now I see that. Okay, so there's some that are checked and some that are unchecked. Okay. So actually, I didn't know that. Oh, that's interesting. I wouldn't have known that until <clears throat> scrolling through that whole list. So we'll go. We'll click done here. Service is complete. You know, you can now use your review controller. In this case, the the keyboard with the built-in controller. Using the controller with your TV. Provide the brand model number for your TV. Okay, that's fine. So we've got a Samsung here. Okay, so the model number that I have here. Um, You'll see it on the screen. Um, this is actually a newer, a newer web-enabled TV um, from Samsung. I was actually really not impressed with the um, types of services they had available with the TV here. So this is a UN 46B8500. Um, I love the TV; it's great, uh, but but definitely the services they provide with it were lackluster. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, that's correct. So they're setting it up according to the TV. Select the input name on your TV. Uh, let's see here. This one is HDMI 2. Exit there. So this is the HDMI 2. <coughs> Uh, turn off. Okay, so I can use this to turn off and on the TV. That's interesting. Um, we'll see how that goes. <coughs> um, I don't have this hooked up to an AV receiver. We're going to skip this step. And it looks like it might be... Yes, I'm going to skip that. Or at least I'm not running this through an AV um, setup here. So, assuming that there's something, ah, here we go. OK, 
Okay. Enjoy. I'm supposed to enjoy it now. Okay, so that was a setup. Congratulations.